In this video, I'm gonna go over an indicator nymphing technique that is overlooked by most fly fishers. Utilizing this technique while fishing under an indicator will improve your fish to net ratio. This tutorial, we're gonna talk about the different vertical water layers and current speeds in a river, proper drifts, checking the indicator, specialty casts, and drifts to avoid. After watching this video, you will be armed with an advanced nymphing technique that will improve your catch rate. This screen breaks down the different water layers in all rivers. There are many different vertical water layers in rivers, but for simplicity, in this video, it's separated in three layers. The top layer, called the film, the middle layer, called the merger zone, and the deepest layer, called the strike zone. All illustrations in this video, the water flows from left to right. The film zone is the shallowest water in the river. Normally, when we talk about the film, it's only the very top layer of the river. The film zone is the fastest moving water in a river system. In this video, the next layer is called the merger zone. This layer starts a couple of inches below the film zone and goes down to about nine inches above the bottom of the river. The water in the merger zone is moving slower than the film zone. The strike zone is the slowest moving water of these vertical layers because there's a lot of friction caused by water moving over the rocks, other surfaces, and aquatic vegetation. The water at the film is moving faster than the water in the strike zone. This is important to remember. To maintain the proper drifts, a fly fisher must do whatever they can to maintain proper fly position. To do this, a fly fisher must check the indicator in relation to the flies to obtain the proper drift. To achieve this, a fly fisher must constantly adjust the position of the indicator. I call this technique checking the indicator. I first read about this method in Jason Randall's book, Nymph Masters. I have added a couple steps to Jason's concepts that makes vertical mending more efficient and better. To check the indicator properly, three casts are needed. The standard overhead, the roll, and the tuck cast. In addition, one mend is needed, the upstream mend. In this video, a double taper or weight forward line is being used. Checking the indicator refers to making sure the flies are in the proper position to optimize the possibility of getting the most strikes. To do this, a fly fisher must check the position of the leader and flies below the indicator and make any adjustments needed to position your flies in the optimal place. Remember, the water at the film is moving faster than the water in the strike zone. This means that the indicator is moving faster than the flies. The key point, after making a cast upstream, your flies are going to be upstream from the indicator, putting your flies at the worst position possible. There are three ways to avoid this after casting upstream. One is to throw a roll cast in your line. Two is to do an upstream mend. Both reposition your indicator farther upstream from where it landed to get your indicator in the proper position in relation to your flies. The third trick is to do a tuck cast. The longer the cast, the more difficult it is to execute a tuck cast, leaving the fly fisher with only two options, the roll cast or an upstream mend. After the flies have drifted a while and are slightly upstream or downstream from the fly fisher, the indicator will need to be repositioned. The only possible solution is to check the indicator, which will get the flies in the proper position. To do this, all a fly fisher has to do is slightly pull the indicator up and our back off the water to reposition it farther upstream. A fly fisher could check the position of the indicator two to four times in one drift, depending on the current speed 
and the structure at the bottom of the river. To review, checking the indicator can be done upstream from the fly fisher by doing the tuck cast, a roll cast, or throwing an upstream mend in the line after the indicator is on the water. Once the indicator is just upstream from the fly fisher or past the fly fisher, the fly fisher can slightly pull back and up on the indicator to reposition the indicator for proper fly position. Checking the indicator will help avoid improper drifts. Complex currents could make the line below the indicator do all sorts of mysterious drifts. These bad drifts will make strikes undetectable. So checking the indicator will help prevent bad drifts from happening, increasing strike detection. In addition, sometimes while checking the indicator, a fly fisher will be surprised by the tug of a fish at the end of their line. <laughs>